name is Jody Parker. I own a small business uh, based out of Virginia. I sell recycling equipment, construction size equipment uh, in the Mid-Atlantic area. Uh, I've got a, three young boys from ages 7 to 16 months, and uh, that's generally my life. <laughs> tell me about um, tell me about have you been uh, about how you've been following the um, federal health reform debate, and um, if you've been following it at all, tell me some of your thoughts about it. Well, obviously I've been following it because it, it has a, a pretty big impact not only on my business but on my family. Um, I've been following it pretty much from the, from the inception of most of the conversations. Uh, you know, from a business standpoint, I've got a lot of concerns, obviously, because it, it could put a, some more additional costs uh, to my bottom line. And, and I actually just started my business two years ago, so obviously in the startup phase and the down economy, you know, I'm, I'm pretty concerned about uh, some of the implications of, of uh, what's being projected out there. Uh, from, a, from my family standpoint, I mean, I have three small boys and we spend a lot of time in the emergency room uh, a few times here in the last six months. Uh, we spend a lot of time at the doctor's office. Uh, we're, we're heavy users of our, our health care plan as we do. And what, what did you choose for your health care plan? Uh, we actually went with a, a, a low premium, high deductible plan with an HSA. And we did it because, well, we, we wanted the flexibility to take our children and, and my wife and I to, to have the ability to um, go to whatever doctor we wanted. I guess you'd call it portability. Uh, also to manage the cost as we saw fit. Um, we believe in preventative maintenance and trying to get ourselves to get our, you know, to stay healthy and go have our, uh, our checkups done on a regular basis. But we don't believe in just going to the doctor because a child has a runny nose or or what have you. So we just felt like it was the best plan for us. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of good things to it, and there are clearly some drawbacks. Uh, but um, yeah, it's just it's so far it's been a very good plan. We're very happy with it. And um, sounds like you like you like that your plan gives you a lot of choice and flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, whether it's the, the doctors we have or any doctors we can choose, um, we we just like the ability to to go to whoever decides is the best place, the best doctor, giving us the best service. Well, tell me about, um, one, if you watched the president's speech last night on health care, and if you did, what would you think of it? Um, well, I, I guess, again, from having listened to a lot of the conversations from the very beginning, I was, I was a little confused in some senses because my understanding was there's, uh, there's a house plan that's really the only plan that's been ratified and, and pushed through, so to speak, in, in any kind of formal fashion, and that really the president hasn't put together a plan and put it forth to the American people. So what I was a little confused by is, is he kept referring to his plan and, and the, the things that he wanted to do, but it was really the first time I had heard anything, and, and I, although I thought there were some details there, I, I was still highly concerned about uh, the lack of details, and, and I'm still very concerned about the public option that, that um, he's continuing to push because I think, to be perfectly honest, I don't think the government can afford, and, and for that reason, I don't think as taxpayers we can afford to go down that road. The um, the president seems to be talking about uh, the fact that that aspect will provide more choice and competition. What do you think about that? Well. <laughs> I tend to believe that, that the government is is, um, is not the most efficient organization in the country to, uh, to create competition. I really believe the private market is much better suited for it. Uh, so that, as far as competition goes, I'm, I'm concerned about the public option in that arena. As far as choice goes, you know, I think that there's there's better ways to create create choice, uh, whether it's between state boundaries, allowing individuals to get their health insurance outside of individual states. I just I believe there's better choices than just opening up immediately a public option. And, and to be perfectly fair, uh, you know, as, as a small business owner, one of the things I have to think about is, you know, if I have employees or myself, and, and there's a, a, a significant cost to me buying private insurance, and there's a public option that's considerably cheaper, well, then I'm probably going to take a hard look at, at that option. And the fact of the matter is I really shouldn't be the one looking at the public option. Uh, I'm very happy with the, the health care that I have. The cost is, an over, is not overbearing. So, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense, in my opinion, philosophically, for me to be looking at, at the public option, but I probably would if it was offered.
have you been um, have you been participating in the process, and, and have you contacted your elected officials about you know some of the thoughts you've articulated? I have. I um, I spent a little bit of time contacting some of the members of the House. I, I, I stayed away from it a little bit because it was it was uh, kind of a lopsided vote, so to speak. But I, I have contacted uh, Senator Warner and Senator Webb. Um, I really was in, hoping that Senator Warner, uh, being a previous businessman, um, seems to be a, a moderate individual who kind of understands the private sector and uh, that that he would respond. And he did get back to me as as far as uh, you know a formal communication, but. Um, I was just hoping that, that he would appreciate being in the business sector like I am as a small private business owner, you know, the, the cost that, that could be placed on us and, and the idea that the government is getting involved in the private sector even further is, is very disconcerting uh, to me personally and I think to most business owners. So uh, I, I had hoped that he would, uh, I guess I was appealing to him more so than, than anyone when I was trying to con con uh, contact Congress. Last week, Senator Warner talked a lot about his hope for more competition and um, better incentives to help people and providers make better choices. Do you have any comment on that sort of philosophy? Well, I, I think that we all want to see more competition. I, I think that we all would like to see some health care reform. I think the question mark becomes, do you want to see the government make that reform change? And, and personally, I don't. I don't believe they're the most efficient organization to do it.